All right, hello everybody. We are on lesson 13-2 today, um, solving problems with uh, using inverse operations and problems that have variables in them. So I'm going to go over the reteach side with you, a few problems on it. Um, my goal for you tonight is to work to spend at least um, uh, at least 15 to 20 minutes working on this, hopefully 20. Um, and uh, if you finish it all before then, then you're just doing awesome. Practice your flashcards or something. So let's, let's try to get at least 20 minutes in here. Um, now a variable is when we have a letter inside the problem. For an example, number one, we have a J. J is our variable. Okay, we have to solve for J. And the way that we're going to do that is we have to use the inverse. Now remember, the inverse is the opposite. So the inverse of J plus 5, the inverse would be J take away. And what that does is it zeroes the problem out. If we have plus 5 take away 5, we end up with 0. And if I draw that out, if we have plus 5, 1, 1, oh, it's not working. Let's try that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We start with our plus 5, and then we take away 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we just zeroed it out. We now have 0. So again, we're using the inverse operation to help us solve the problem. So the inverse of j plus 5 would be j take away 5. Now here's the other rule. What you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do to the other. So if we added a take away 5 to the left side of the equal sign, we have to add that to the right side. So again, remember, we said we just zeroed this out. So now we just have j on this side of the equal sign. On the right side, what is 19 take away 5? It would be 14. So our variable is j equals 14. And the way you can check that is you take this 14 and you plug it in for j. Is 14 plus 5 19? Yes, it is. So let me do, num let me do number 2 with you. Number 2. Our variable is u. We're solving for u. So u plus 7 equals 15. We need to figure out what u equals. And in order to do that, we've got to make it so that the u, or the variable, is the only thing on the left side of the equal sign. And how do we do that? We do that using the inverse operation. So what is the inverse or the opposite of plus 7? It would be take away 7. And what that does is it zeroes it out. So again, remember, if I had plus 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I take away 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I now have 0. Okay, So we zeroed out the left side. But remember the rule. What you do to the left side, we added take away 7. We have to add to the right side take away 7. So 15 minus 7 equals 8. The variable u equals 8. And again, if we plug that in, 8 plus 7 equals 15. Now let me do one more. I'll do number 4 down here for you, because this is a takeaway, which works the same way. So our variable on this one is c. c take away 6. c take away 6 equals 9. So we have to figure out what the inverse is. The inverse or the opposite of take away 6 would be plus 6. And what we do to one side, we do to the other, plus 6. So again, if we have negative, if we have take away 6 and plus 6, what does that do? It cancels it out. So now all we have left is the C, and I'll just move that down here. And on the right side, 9 plus 6, well that equals 15. And by checking it, we just say 15 take away 6. Does that equal 9? Yes, it does. So there we go. OK, good luck with this. You guys can do it. You're smart kids. And have a great night.